This year I have purchased some amazing bags and these are my favorite so far for 2024. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea and welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me in the babe cave today and this channel is all about handbags if you didn't know that already and accessories some vlogs some posts about sales so subscribe to my channel it is worth your while if you love all of those things so today I wanted to show my favorite bag purchases this year so far <laughs> the year is still not over but I wanted to point out the ones that are my favorite so far and why. So first I'm going to start out with, in no particular order, we'll start out with the Cherry Nolita 19 Barrel in that beautiful cherry print. I love that they put the cherries on both sides. So cute. I would never wear this as a wristlet but I do have some chains that are similar gold that I could make this into a little crossbody. It does fit your phone. I'm glad I got a piece of this cherry collection. I love the realistic cherries. They're just beautiful with that raspberry colored trim and that's the strap. So yeah, this is a great purchase. I had to get one piece out of this collection and this was a good one. I wasn't sure about these barrel bags of what I would use it for, but I have used this, but I didn't add any strap to it. I just carried it out the door and it fit my phone and everything I needed for a small bag. <laughs> so this is my first one. I had to include two denim bags and this... <laughs> is my second favorite denim bag or third I don't know <laughs> but this is a f one of my finds that I found at Saks off fifth the Carl Lagerfeld I've never had a bag from him this has been a great great denim bag for the the denim craze that we all have went through <laughs> for a fraction of the price has the back pocket has the the denim going through the the metal, the turn lock, the interior is beautiful. It's very comfortable to carry. I still haven't taken this off because I haven't carried it again yet, <laughs> but I probably am going to take this off. Kind of pokes my arm. But yeah, this is a great purchase. I love the detail, the chevron. I believe that's chevron pattern. I could be wrong. <laughs> But it's a very nice soft denim bag and this is definitely one of my favorites. And this is the actual number one denim bag in my collection. <laughs> I have a lot of denim but this one ranks really high which is the Coach Soft Tabby denim obviously and gold hardware. I like soft tabbies. Uh, I have not bought one of the quilted leather tabbies yet <laughs> because I'm just cheap like that. I, if it's going to come out on sale, I don't know what color, I just ignore it. <laughs> so this one is amazing. I'm so glad I picked it up. It was more expensive than I really wanted to pay, but this had came around again after last year and I didn't grab it last year so I made sure to grab it this year. I am very pleased with the quality. The C's have that texture to them. It's also a soft denim. That gold hardware on the C is beautiful. The versatility of the straps. I can't say enough about a soft tabby. I like all the soft tabbies. <laughs> I also have another one that's suede and I love that one too. So this denim soft tabby was definitely 
really glad that I picked it up and it's now in my favorites. This next one, I think this bag right here got me liking big bags again. And I thrifted this bag and I'll link the video of this bag because there's a story behind this bag. I thrifted it for $17 and originally I saw it at the thrift store for $99 or he want, there was no tag and the man up front said oh it belongs behind the counter and he was going to put $99 on it. I'm like oh no no no. <laughs> I, me and my husband went back a few weeks later a couple weeks and it was in with all the purses and there it was again but for $17 after my discount it was $17 and I've been looking at Ralph Lauren bags since this and I I think this is the reason why I like big bags again because <laughs> I realize that you don't have to overstuff it just carry it with your normal essentials it doesn't have a strap, but the details are just so pretty with that that stitching. I my favorite part here, feet on the bottom. I just uh, added this chain. This is a next fashion chain. It's so pretty. It's a camel color. It's giant inside. <laughs> you can carry everything in it. I think I'm back into big bags because of this one and this is just a Michael Kors charm I thought it looked pretty good on there I don't know if I'm keeping that on there but yeah this was one of my favorite finds and purchases uh, next was Portland leather goods I finally bought my own and I wanted in I wanted it in this pretty pearl color surprisingly enough I actually really like this bag and I couldn't get out of it. This is the large circle and the color pearl. It it smells really good. I don't know if you can see the pearl shade, how it glistens. Ah, it's just so pretty. Here's the back of it. And it has this front slot for your phone. A nice capacity inside. That's what the inside looks like. Slip pocket. <sighs> Smells so good. I think that I've changed my mind. <laughs> I like Go Forth Goods, but their prices are a little higher. But their quality is good. But now that I've found Portland leather goods, <laughs> I have enjoyed this leather. And it's really nice leather. And it's affordable. Like... You can get these on sale for probably $80, I don't know. They're always running sales on Portland Leather Goods. So this was definitely, surprising enough, one of my favorite purchases. The large circle bag. The next one is my equestrian Dooney and Burke vintage in that navy blue and that British tan kind of color. I'm not sure the color of the brown, but... It is in so beautiful of condition. This is now called my lily bag because I had to put her down and we went thrifting that day. I wasn't planning on buying anything and this actually cheered me up and now I will think of my dog that I had that passed away. So this is a, a beautiful and favorite. Has a back pocket. I, I really like this opening. Here is the interior, nice blue crossbody bag. Fits quite a bit of things in this. So yeah, this is definitely a great, great purchase. The equestrian vintage Dooney and Burke. Love it. And you all know, I, <laughs> this is the softest leather. So it's not a thick leather, okay? Like Portland Leather Goods is thicker leather. This is a thinner leather, but it is some of the softest leather I have felt is American Leather Company Mercer shoulder bag. This is still on the website, I believe, and there's multiple colors. This is super soft leather. I, there's no pebbling. It's just a smooth 
really really soft I love the large woven pieces I wanted something woven I wanted it to be big and this one hit all the boxes and then it has that back pocket for your phone it's perfect and detachable strap to, to make it dressy or not I have enjoyed this hobo bag it's a shoulder bag and it has feet on the bottom again don't sleep on American leather their leather is really nice I I kind of wonder you know how durable this is gonna last but MJ the gray if you know her channel I'll link her down below her mother or mother-in-law has an American leather bag that she's had for five years and it's still in great condition so don't sleep on American Leather Company it is amazing so that is definitely a favorite in knockout pink and my final one that I added all the charms <laughs> because you know that's trending right and like I said I, I guess I'm back into large bags. I, I don't know. <laughs> I ate my words. Don't you love this koala? It's so cute. So I just added some charms and the dress up your purse envelope and that ombre. Isn't that pretty? And then my lips. like And then my next fashion chain. <laughs> I probably won't wear all these out. But I was just playing around with it. And man, this is called the Domed Buckle Satchel from Dooney and Burke. Two double straps, whip stitching. Smells amazing still. Smooth Florentine leather. And I am so happy. And yes, this is topping in the top favorites category as well. I can't, I haven't carried it yet, but I am going to. <laughs> But not with all of this. <laughs> I just playing around. I think I'll, I'll keep, I'll probably keep this on and probably the lips. That's most likely my style is the lips and the chain and the koala looks really cute though. <laughs> so that is my favorites that I've bought so far this year. I bought other ones. I've sold other ones. I've gifted other ones to my daughter and my mom. Um, so this isn't all of my bags that I bought. It's just these are my favorite ones and I wanted to share that in case you're interested in any of those or if you want further reviews. I have done reviews. Well, I think I've done a video on all these bags and so you can search through my videos. Just type in the name and I have really enjoyed my purchases this year. I've gotten some really great deals. I if you're looking for secondhand bags especially they're going for a steal because the the economy in itself is not great here in the United States and people are just wanting to get rid of their bags like they're moving they just want it gone for the money I believe so look for great deals at the thrift stores I've told you I've found so many bags and I've Usually when I thrift, I don't keep them, I sell them. So I always have bags listed in my Poshmark and Mercari. You know, you can choose whether you wanna buy it from Mercari or Poshmark and uh, yeah. I'll always have the links down below for you in case you wanna buy one of my bags. <laughs> so I appreciate you all watching and do you like my favorite so far? And tell me which one out of all of my showed, which is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments and we'll uh, chit chat. And if you don't mind, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's free. And hit the bell so you won't miss my videos and come on back and watch another. I've got over 600 videos uh, on my channel now, which is a lot. I think a lot of those include short videos as well, but still 600 <laughs> and I'm almost at half a million views, total views on my channel. So that is crazy. I appreciate who's ever watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am so happy to do this. I love creating 
and I love bags, obviously. <laughs> so thank you. I appreciate all of you. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.